This one says creativity. This one says progress, knowledge, innovation, and of course, science. You should be a children's TV presenter. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Especially, I also have some sparkly hot pants, which I think might work well. Well, or I'll, maybe I'll, not. I'll say nothing. Maybe not. <laughs> My name is Jessica Thompson and I live in Lisbon. I am from Sudbury in Suffolk, which is a small town surrounded by very nice water meadows and uh, Thomas Gainsborough, the painter, was also born there. Where are you taking us? We're going to the Institut Gulbenkian de Ciencia, which is the place where I spent the last 10 years of my life. So we basically are a group that looks at infection and tries to understand what kills us or what makes us sick so that hopefully someone in the future can find out how to stop that process. Make me interested in what you do. Did you know there's this little bug that lives inside a particular squid from Hawaii and then he grows up like he splits and splits and splits and splits and splits so there's like millions and billions of them and then they start making light and then the cool thing is that this the time it takes for them to grow and make light is at night so then the little squid lights up which means that it doesn't make a shadow and it doesn't get eaten by fish. So basically what we look at is how the little bugs, how they make the signals, how they regulate it, how they talk to each other, what behaviours it induces in different systems. What brought you to Lisbon? I wanted a change. It's a very romantic city. You feel like anything can happen and it was a lot more relaxed than London. <laughs> this is the, the secret back entrance. Okay. Yes. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Okay. I'm just jealous of the people who get to park their car here. That's <laughs> all. It's a piece of electron microscopy and this is where you can really, 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 really look at really, really tiny things. Do you have to look at a lot of disgusting things in your job? Yeah, so I've done, because I work with gut bacteria, I've done an awful lot of work with mouse poo. So this is a little E. coli. And then it has these things out here which act like little propellers, so then it can swim. And here are my samples. This is what I was working on before we started. This is where you would base most of your work? I'd be probably half the time here, a oh. quarter of the time here, and the rest of the time in the bench in the lab. This is my tin of tea. As you can see, it, is, it says Williamson tea. How would you usually take your tea? Uh, with milk. Yeah. No, sh no sugar. Now we all have, especially with COVID, we all have our own uh, labelled coats. So for example, here, this was my my friend, my colleague Euclides, he was with us for about six months from Angola and he has, a, he has his own lab coat. He's not here anymore, but well, his, well, his he's lab still, coat still He's still is. alive, right? Exactly, he is. <laughs> <laughs> these are ACE2 cells, so these are related with the other things. Do you have any final words? <laughs> I'm not going to die, I hope. <laughs> um, live long and prosper. Except I'm not a Trekkie, so that doesn't really fit. I don't know. Always on this. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was emotional. Bye.